What is a CRM and how does it help you grow your business and save you time in the process? I'm gonna to explain to you exactly what it is and how that's done in this video. If this is your first time stopping by, my name's Alicia and if you're all about growing your real estate business, learning all things real estate and having an amazing net life in the process, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell and we'll get started right now. By the end of this video, you'll have your head wrapped all the way around what a CRM is and know the three secrets in helping you grow your business and saving time in the process. First, a CRM is a client relationship manager or a customer relationship manager. And I really think we could rename it time management system because it's here to make you more efficient, to save you time and get you more referrals. The first secret that the industry probably doesn't want you to know is that it does not matter how much money you spend on your CRM. It truly doesn't. You can do anything from referral maker with Buffini, top producer, KV core, or you could just go old school and do Excel sheets or Google sheets or pen and paper, depending on how big your database is. It truly doesn't matter. It's going to come down to you and your efforts. So let's just get that one out of the way. The second one is how effective your CRM is has way more to do with you than the actual system that you choose. You've all heard whatever one you choose will work for you if you work it, which is true. So we have to back up to you and what you want this system to do. Whether you're paying for a CRM or not, you are going to have to decide up front how you're going to be systematic with the information that the CRM has. This isn't going to be an address book and somehow it magically turns out the information and names that you have into referrals and new clients every single day. I think that's a little myth in our industry that, that there's just the magical glitter dust that goes in there and makes that happen. What are the plans with the information you're going to have in that CRM? Are you going to meet with the people every quarter? Are you going to section out your top 20 and make sure that you spend one-on-one -on -one time with each of them? Are you going to plan client events? Are you going to call them? Are you just going to let it go to email every single month to the people in your database? You have to decide what energy you're going to give the stuff that's inside that CRM. The CRM is going to hold the information for you and it's going to do whatever you tell it to do but it's not gonna know what to do unless you predetermined that. It's just like having a game system and you ha I can see the game, you can hear the game, you can see all the stuff that's on the screen, but you don't have a joystick yet. I'm, old, I'm 43, so I'm talking about Atari here. So it's like having the game, but no joystick, and you can't go anywhere. You know where you want it to go, but you can't tell the system where you want your player to go. That is exactly how a CRM works. If you don't have a plan of action, laid out to tell it to complete these actions, it's not gonna happen for you. So the other secret about CRMs is that the value is in the humans, like the actual people in it. So every line item in your CRM, every single person that's in your CRM, that's where the true value is because we know that each one of them knows, take a guess, a hundred people each. So each person in your CRM equates to the potential of them telling a hundred people about you. So don't worry if you have a small database because remember that each of those people influences at least a hundred other people. So you're good to go and the, what the CRM is going to do is not let any of those relationships fall through the cracks. The CRM is going to make you very efficient in depositing into those relationships and depositing into those people. This is one that's so overlooked yet if you're working your CRM properly it can not only help you save overall physical time, yet it's helping you save mind space too. Like, let me know in the comments if you've ever worried about if you were doing enough or whether you've talked to someone enough or have you done enough, enough activities to get your next referral or get your next client. Has that ever been a struggle for you that's taken up mind space? That is something a CRM can help you clear up so much, especially if you have to find your A's and your B's in your CRM. Having a CRM helps you keep track of people, keep track of, track of your activities. And from year to year, you can say, I did this with these people, or this was my action and I did that. This is who I've done it with year after year. So you don't have to wonder, did I do enough? You just do what you've done or add to it or subtract to it, change a little bit, but you have a baseline to go from. And when you're keeping track of your referrals, who's giving you referrals, just a quick line on the sheet that says that they gave you a referral and sectioned out your A's and your B's, it's very easy to see who's supporting your business and who you should be giving more energy to. 
I mean, it stops your brain from going on overdrive and allows you to take that time to deepen the relationships that you know support your business. Our industry tends to make the CRM thing way too complicated, but when it boils down to it, what it does for you is it helps you become more efficient in your business and helps you with maintaining and building relationships efficiently. If you want some help with figuring out what activities you want around your CRM, what you should be doing with your clients every single month, I have a video that you can watch all about that. I give you exactly what I do every single month. If this video helped you take the mystery out of CRMs, please hit the like button and subscribe. That tells YouTube that this is valuable and people need to know about it.